Hey everyone, I'm Harley, it's really nice to see you over here and welcome back. And in today's video we are going to review Yay Extra plugin that allows you to assign extra options to your WooCommerce products. So if you're ready, let's just start. And simply wait until it is installed. Just click on activate the plugin. Now let's go find the plugin. After activation you should note that the plugin will be located under the WooCommerce tab and over here it is WooCommerce Yay Extra. We should simply click on it and we can review everything related to this plugin right away. We have option sets, customization options and settings. Those are the overall main settings that we do have and we can add options right from over here. We are going to add a sample options with you guys. Uh, so in the customization we have general options where we have labels and total prices. Basically, we can change the font sizes, we have swatches, we can customize the borders, styles, tooltips, we have button customization options that include borders, etc. And of course, custom CSS. Then we have settings where we have show option sets for roles, hide option sets, uh, certain options to enable or disable, including show total price on product page. And we have applied option sets settings, import option sets, export option sets settings. Um, let's just create a new option set. So you can see over here, I already have an option set named design. We can click over here and review everything. Uh, the name is design, we can add description, we have multiple options, including option name, which we can make it required or not required. Uh, option type, I chose radio button for this. Uh, we have get a custom color that adds additional cost. We have get custom print that also adds additional cost. We can add description, link additional products or manage stocks. Basically every settings that are needed, we have everything right over here displayed. Then we have actions where we can add an action set to have this or these counts on card dependent on multiple action actions and right here we can set those. Then we have products where we can choose between these options, choose one by one or choose by conditions. And we can simply select the product to which this set is going to be applied. And this is how it is going to look on the front end as you can see. Option 1 and the radio buttons, get a custom color or get a custom print. Now let's go back and create one more option set just for you to be sure how it works. Um, here is the name and description. Um, let's create file code set. Yeah, why not? Because if customers choose the printing option, they should upload the file of what they want to be printed. And let's go on options. Over here, name the option, um, file upload, let's once again just name it file upload, or just files. Choose here the file upload uh, type, we don't need to do any advanced settings or conditional logics, but you can do that. And over here, we can see how it is going to look in the front end, customers are going to cl click on the choose file and choose the file that they need to upload for us. Let's go back. And now we have uh, two options which we can activate or deactivate and we're going to create another options as well. Let's for example choose swatches, then we can choose, uh, wait a second, over here. Then we can choose advanced settings, option values and conditional logics. In the option values of course we are going to choose the colors of the swatches. Let's add, let's set this one for default and add two more option values. You can add as many as you want to. And choose the colors that we want to appear and of course change the names of the um, option values accordingly. Blue, pink and grey. So this is it. And we go back, we have already three option sets created. I'm going to create a few more option sets and it will just take a few seconds for you. I'm going to be back. And finally, you can see that I have added lots of option sets over here and all that is left to do is to check them out in the front end. So let's go to the products, click on all products, view our beautiful t-shirt. 
go over here and we have all the option sets we have get custom color get custom print or buy as it is options we have swatches we have choose file that works just perfectly fine we have the buttons that display the sizes in which t-shirt is available we even have notes that customers can add and dates that they would like to receive and over here when they choose one of the options that add additional cost they get the subtotal displayed right away so this is basically it this plugin is just amazing to assign uh, multiple options to your products so guys that was all i wanted to tell you i hope you liked this video and if you did do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues who may be interested in this topic see you in the next video bye